Hey y'all, Elise here from Plan with Elise. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my new videos that are coming out. And definitely hit that notification bell as well to make sure that you are 100% aware <laughs> when a new video does come out. We are gonna be doing the monthly budget for November 2019 today and I am doing something different. I'm trying to budget in my petite planner and I'm gonna be using actually the daily planner and the budget book to budget with. And you will see why in just a second. But if you are interested in seeing that, definitely keep watching. Alrighty, so I'm just going to show you this beautiful kit that I'm using to budget with today. I've never used a kit before to budget with, um, but these come from the shop Nora's Cove. And you might have heard me talking a lot about this shop lately, but it's because I love it. <laughs> and so I finally get to actually use the stickers today. Um, if you saw my stories or my video where I did the flip through of this petite planner. I showed this cute little pin here that she gave me as a freebie with one of my orders, well with my order. <laughs> and now I'm finally using the stickers that came with that order. But if you didn't see that video, I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of all of the stickers. And this pile is just all the freebies that came with it. So we have this beautiful gold foil. We have the ever popular glitter boxes. We have these beautiful, beautiful, you see that? That's all full, little full dots, can you see them? I love that. We've got some holographic bows. some scallops, all for everything, just how I love it. And we have some rose gold on these. This is like the sample stickers. And then these beautiful bows that I cannot wait to use. I don't know when I'm gonna use them. I might use them during the budget. I might use them for my personal planner, but they will be getting used. And now into the actual kit. So we have these stickers and these bows and the Bill Do are foiled on here. And I love these colors. And this is her November, November um, budget kit. And this is for, of course, the Petite Planner, but she also has a B6 size. And I think she also has a deluxe monthly size for the Erin Condren. Then this says weekly check-in and then these are just decorated with the gold foil. Then these are all the like headers and titles for the actual budget. I'm going to be adjusting these a little bit uh, just so that it works with how I do my budget but they are beautiful. Then we have this, she said this could be used as a sidebar. And then a few other little boxes. And then finally we have this page with some more bowls up top. It has the days of the week, days of the month, holidays, and other little icons all on this beautiful floral background. And look at that, the little wood grain matches my background that I have now. I just realized that. But now that you see what I'm going to be using, for real, for real, let's get into this budget. And so the reason that I'm going to be using the daily planner and the budget book is because the budget book doesn't actually have a monthly calendar on it. And I need that <laughs> to do my budget for the month. 
So I'm going to be using the monthly calendar on the daily planner for November. If I flip to it, a more prepared person would have already had this pinned <laughs> to the right page. So we're going to be using this section of the daily planner. And then I'm just going to do my weekly budget inside of the budget book. So you actually won't see me using the budget book in this video because I'm not doing my weekly budget yet. This is what the monthly layout looks like in the daily planner for the petite planner. And for November it's blue, but we are going to cover all of that up with these beautiful stickers. Starting with this November bar up here. And then I'm gonna cover that side up with one of the other bars. And then we'll get to the actual budget. So that wasn't too painful, right? <laughs> uh, remember that I'm still new to decorative planning. <laughs> you see, I had to pull out the box cutter on this thing because I don't have the proper tools, but I make do with what I do have until I can get what I need. And so we have the header on now and it's already more beautiful than it was at first. And so we're going to go through and just put down a few of the important bills. And I might end up just having to write some stuff in if I don't have enough boxes. Because as you know, I got a lot of bills. <laughs> if you've seen any of my budgets, I got a lot of bills. But we are going to put down as many of these stickers as we can and see if it works out all right so we're going to start with the numero uno bill the first bill and most important to me <laughs> is our mortgage so we're going to put one of these little babies down on the first and that's going to be for the mortgage and these stickers are actually made for the monthly planner and I'm just putting them in the daily planner so if it doesn't match up or something like that it's because I'm not using them in what they were made for and our next bills are on the fourth and it's gonna be our Amex, our phone bill, well my phone bill, and our windows. Just gonna knock a three of these babies out already. And I don't mind if I cover up the date. I know what day the bill is due. Let's see, maybe up that high would make all three of them fit. Might not be able to fit three per box. And also, I'm freestyling this to the max. Like, I did not try <laughs> any of this out beforehand to see if it would work, if it would fit. I just came up with an idea, and now I'm running with it. And nope, this can only fit two of these boxes. So... Okay. 
Gotta make it do what it do, baby. And I'll just <laughs> write down at the bottom, windows. Our next bill is our Capital One card, which is gonna now be our Snowball bill, because yay, we made our final payment to our personal loan, which was scheduled for the first, the same day as the mortgage. We made our last payment in October, so we're another debt closer to being debt free. <laughs> And so Capital One is gonna be our new snowball and it's gonna be $326 that we pay towards Capital One now. And I think I am just gonna actually write the amounts in as I go. That way, by the time we're done putting the stickers, I can be out of your hair. <laughs> and so for our mortgage, It is 1604.66. Then for our Amex. It's one thirty five. 35 and I think we only have two more payments either two or three more payments left on the tires that's making it 135 35 and then it'll be back down to just $35 a month for the Amex card um, if you did not see my video where I talked about that we have um, one of those payment plan things set up with American Express it's called planet pay it or something like that and you make a purchase a hundred dollars or more and you can pay it off monthly without any interest being added onto it and yeah and so next is our windows which is 65.85 And then again for Capital One, it's 326. And if you're wondering why I'm not using the budget book to do our monthly budget, it's because I still have not got a grip to the month at a glance in that book. Um, it's better to me to use at the end of the month to write down what you actually spent instead of what you're budgeting for for the month because number one it doesn't have anywhere like for you to write your budget amount and then what you actually spent and then it also has a lot of weird stuff listed that I don't pay money for and if you are for real on a debt-free journey you're more than likely not paying for anyway um, and I know everybody that has a budget isn't on a debt-free journey, but I would really like if all of this was blank and you could fill in your own information, that would help a lot better. And again, if it had somewhere for where you are budgeting how much you want to spend and then somewhere to put how much you actually ended up spending for that month so that you could track it. But yeah, I need... I need more from this page and then the other pages are just a spending log basically for what you buy for that month and that's cool as well but it would be a lot cooler <laughs> if it was an actual budget budget book instead of like an expense tracker is what I look at it as but that's enough of that Let's get back to this. 
And so we got to capital one on the sixth. After capital one, we have our electric bill, which I think is actually on the fifth of this month. It switches up between the fifth and the sixth. And for that bill, I'm gonna use one of these little bowls instead. Use a nice purple bow, little box. And so for our electric bill in November, it's $79.05. And I'm just gonna put the name. $79.05 on here. And then we have our Bank of America bill. I'm going to see if maybe I can put every debt bill as one of these bill due stickers and then just a regular bill as the sticker with the bow to make them spread out, <laughs> stretch out longer, not spread out. The Bank of America is due on the 10th over here. I usually just write BOA. And that's $43, I believe. That's what it's been lately. And next is our gas bill. So we're back to the boat. I know all together we have, I believe, 23 bills due each month. And there are 14 bill due stickers in this kit. And then I think 14, let me see. No, then there's 12 of these bows. So using both of them, we have enough for all of our bills. And what is this? Our gas bill, which is $30 and 14 cents. I'm just gonna write gas. I don't know why I put a period after gas. $30 and 14 cents. And our rooms to go card, which is due on the 12th. So our rooms to go card, which I usually just write RTG, that is $42. And then our car insurance, not our life insurance, it used to be on the 14th, but we're with a different company now. So now it is on the 15th. <laughs> I said it like it was gonna be a big difference but we went from using farmer's insurance um it was 190.33 a month for just my car with full coverage and we switched over to a smaller company called mercury mercury insurance and now we pay 176.16 for full coverage on my car and liability on Williams pickup truck. Since it's an older truck, it's no need to have full coverage on it because if it gets in a wreck, the price to fix it will definitely be more than the value of the truck. So you don't need full coverage for older ve vehicles for that reason, if you didn't know. And yeah, but it just amazed me that not only are we covering two cars now with this company, but it's less than what our bill was. So I like Mercury so far. We'll see how they treat us. This is just our second month with them. So I'll let you know how it goes with them. We also changed our home insurance over to them. And now the next bill we have after our insurance is my iPhone payment. And it comes out on the 16th. iPhone 
and it's $35 for that. That looks terrible, but I'm not rewriting it. <laughs> and after the iPhone, we have Netflix and Navient, which is actually on the 14th. Put down a little purple bow. And a coral bill do box since one of them is a debt and one of them is not a debt. So for Netflix, it's fourteen oh six. And for Navient, which is our very last student loan, it is $76.84. I cannot wait to have my student loans paid off. My husband has his paid off already. We paid it off in August or September. We made the last payment to that, and it felt great. I felt like I was paying mine off. <laughs> but I cannot wait to actually pay mine off. So on the 18th, we have two bills due our taxes and the Discover card. Oh, and I apologize for the lighting too. It's been dark here for going on two weeks now, I would say. Um, I guess it's part of fall coming, but plus we've been having bad weather lately too raining off and on and just cloudy for no reason so it's been really dark and then I ended up having to work later than I was supposed to today so I lost the natural sunlight that was there through the clouds and so I'm making a makeshift studio right now I have lights all around me trying to light this up but since it's nighttime it's still not as great as I want it to be but don't worry I'm working on that anyway discover and i left the c out child y'all know what this is all right i was trying not to use the eraser <laughs> i'll go ahead and erase it discover it's 75 dollars this month and if y'all saw our budget from last month they must have heard me talking about them because on the last budget i was saying how this bill always fluctuates and it's higher for some reason sometimes even though we don't even use this card we're just paying it off and lo and behold the new bill came out and it was 75 dollars when it's usually like 79 80 dollars a month it's now 75 so whoever was listening thanks <laughs> Then for our taxes, it's $90. And then we have our life insurance. So we get to use one of the regular boxes. And that's due on the 20th. I like that I just have it off the top of my head what date our bills are due. It's not important to anyone but me but i like that i can just be like that feels due that day and put life insurance 7303 period period <laughs> sorry i've been watching that video too much anyway next is our aqua well, not our next is my iCloud bill for my storage on my phone I'll tell you it comes in handy because sometimes my phone likes to act up as though it does not have free memory and I have to back everything up on my iCloud drive to make it do whatever I'm trying to do and if I didn't have that I would just have to delete all of that stuff and just not have it anymore and lose it. I know I could just save it on my computer, but I don't want to 
use up all my memory on my computer either. Anyway, this goes out on the... It might go out on the 20th too, but I'm going to put it on the 21st. iCloud... 99 cents. Ooh, too rich for my blood. Next, we have our trash. Another bow. And our trash is due on the 24th. Seventeen twenty one every month. Then we have our water bill, which fluctuates. I'm just gonna put down eighty dollars because the actual bill doesn't come out till closer to the end of the month. And that is on the twenty sixth. So that's water and we're just gonna say $80 for now and hopefully it's under $80 but it's been like $78, $79 lately so I'll just put $80 just in case then the next bill is our internet which is on the 27th. Oh, I remember our internet changed too. For some reason, our internet changed from 104.20 to 104.22. That's $104.20 that it used to be, changing to $104.22. And the date changed to the second what's up with that it was due on the 27th now it's due on the second and it's two cents more i think they do it just to mess with me internet 104.22 made it work and our final bill is our car note on the 28th. I put a purple down since it's two of the peaches on that row already. And this is how I'm about to make this work, like writing down our expenses and everything. I'll show y'all after I write the car note down. Car note. It's 241.68. But now that we have all of the just regular old bills listed out in the month, I'm going to actually use the note over here, the sidebar, to write down our expenses because that's what I've come to in my life. <laughs> Let's get to writing down these categories. So we have groceries. I have to try to write small. Our groceries for the month is $200 because we are going to attempt no spend November. Yay! Sad. <laughs> we're going to attempt no spend November. So we're increasing our grocery budget since we won't be eating out. And for gas, the usual 120 for tithes, we're estimating 506.54, but we shall see. Savings, the usual 
200. Can y'all see that? All right, so savings is the usual 200. Then we have eating out is zero, but I'm still gonna write it in case we do spend. And then we'll go over that. And I am actually at the end of the month, I'm gonna write down in the book, the um, budget book, on that month at a glance sheet that I showed you, I'm gonna write on there what we actually spent since that's basically what it's for. In my book at least, I may be wrong. And so eating out and entertainment. And I'm all we're already <laughs> lying to ourselves because we're going to see the Harriet movie next month. Well in November and it is going to cost money to go see that so that'll be in the entertainment section so i am going to put twenty dollars changing it right now as we budget I'm putting twenty dollars in the budget to go see that because we will be hitting up that five dollar tuesday i'm telling y'all if you have cinemark theaters in your area hit up that five dollar tuesday i will see every movie that comes out until they stop having this service anymore. I will see every movie on a Tuesday <laughs> because it's still the same movie and it's a great discount. You're basically paying buy one, get one free for your movie tickets. And for William, now here's another thing. We are still getting personal money next month because we already had things that we planned on having to spend money for in November. So we're still gonna give ourselves that money to spend. Otherwise, we could get in trouble for not having it and just spending money that's not budgeted for. And so for William, William is 130 and then mine is just 50. And so William has to pay for two things, which equal 130. And I have to pay for a couple things. I uh, probably, yes, yeah, just two things too. But the stuff I'm getting is just 50. His is important stuff. That's why it costs more. And then for Thanksgiving, Lord, I turned the T into an H. I don't know how I did that. Thanksgiving. It's hard to try to squeeze that word into small spaces. We have 600 of them things budgeted for Thanksgiving because we're going home. And I'm rallying for us to get a rental car to go up there because I don't want to add a lot of miles onto my car because my car would be the one that we would take. So I'm gonna root for us to get a rental car and a hotel room for two of the days that we're up there for Thursday and Friday. And then we could probably stay with family Saturday, but it's gonna be a lot of people and I don't wanna crowd anybody or inconvenience anybody. So I would like for us to get a room. And I actually have one reserved already. It's where you do the reserve now pay later thing through Expedia. So just in case we do get it, we don't have to worry about the price getting jacked up closer to the date. That's a good thing to do, by the way. That's a tip, a budgeting tip. Uh, if you know that you are going somewhere at a certain date, um, you can do the buy now, well, the reserve now, pay later thing through Expedia just to lock in that price. And if you end up not going, all you have to do is cancel it by usually like a week before and it is nothing like you don't get in trouble or anything you don't have to pay anything but that's what i do a lot and sometimes i do it for no reason i know we're not going anywhere but i just reserve it just in case we decide to go on an adventure for a weekend or something but anywho back to the budget again black friday
Yeah. I have $200 budgeted because I plan on trying to get my Christmas shopping done then. But just in case we don't get our Christmas shopping done, there's a list for that. $175. And then we have, oh, I missed one. I forgot to put miscellaneous down. So then we have our Mama B, that's William's mom. And then miscellaneous will be the usual 200 for the month. So let's see what this equals out to. I know how much the bills equal out to, I can put that first so our budgeted amount can you see that sorry if I went out of frame so our budgeted amount for our bills for November is three thousand three hundred seventy dollars and fifty nine cents Then for our expenses, I'm going to have to add it up since I changed some stuff around while we were doing it. All right, so that comes out to $24.43.51. And as always, if you got something different, please let me know down in the comments and I will correct that. And so that gives us a total budgeted amount of $5,814.10 with a rollover amount of $91.26 for the month And if this was a traditional no spend November month, we would have a whole heap of money rolling over into next month, but we don't want to pretty much, not really punish ourselves, but I'm gonna say punish ourselves. We don't wanna punish ourselves while trying to save and while being on the debt-free journey because that's just gonna make you resent it and that usually leads to you quitting, basically. So we are still going to budget for Black Friday, just in case there are any good deals on something that we were already planning on getting in the first place. Or, well, this goes towards the Christmas gifts too. We pretty much have in mind some of the things we're getting for Christmas gifts. So if some of that is on sale, it's great to just go ahead and get it during Black Friday. And if not, we'll have, like if we end up getting something else during Black Friday, we'll still have money budgeted for Christmas gifts. And then miscellaneous, we always end up forgetting something off of the budget. And so I like having that cushion there um, for a no spend or full spend month. And then for our allowances, if we don't have allowances, it's just gonna make us go over budget. So, since we already had stuff planned to purchase last month before we even decided to do no spend, um, it's best for us to just go ahead and budget for that so that we don't go over budget. But that is all for this budget. But I do have an announcement to make. If you have made it to the end of the video, surprise! <laughs> You are the first to hear about a giveaway that I'm doing. I partnered with Norris Cove, the sticker shop that made these beautiful stickers. And we are giving you a $25 credit to her shop. And she said that she might throw in a few extra goodies as well. So if you be really nice to her <laughs> and check out her um, YouTube channel as well as her Instagram, 
and her Etsy shop. Maybe she'll throw in something nice for you on top of that. Um, but the rules for the giveaway are as followed. You have to be subscribed to me and you have to have your account public so that, well, have your subscriptions public so that I can check and make sure you actually are subscribed to me on YouTube and comment on a post that I'm going to have at the time that this video goes live. There will be a post that you see with this header and it'll be showing pretty much just this page, kind of like the thumbnail for this video. Comment under that picture what you have planned for Thanksgiving. That's all. Just say what you have planned for Thanksgiving under that post and then subscribe to me on my YouTube channel and you will be entered for that $25 giveaway. And I'm also going to have the link to Nora's Cove's video down below as well because she has some information for you on her side. I can't give that away. <laughs> But definitely check out her video next for even more goodies and giveaway opportunities. But that's all for real. I would like to thank y'all for all the support you've been showing me here recently. And since I started the channel back in May, I can't believe it's only just been May since I've had this channel. But thank you for the support so far. And I look forward to what the new year brings. And that's all that I have for y'all today. I will see you on my next video. Bye, y'all.